Welch champion, ranked number three in the country at 106 pounds. You know, and you and I were talking about uh, him specifically, and I, I mentioned it in my uh, commentary for the semifinals. If anyone on the stream is a boxing fan, I, I, I compare Monoretto and his footwork specifically to a guy like Vasily Lomachenko as he gets this takedown. The way Dominic cuts off angles and, and, and does it in such a fashion to, to break the opponent's angle and direction where they're looking to go, finding where they want to go, and cutting it off by controlling the outside step. It's truly some high-level stuff and fun to watch. I look to step around that near foot. Can't quite get it there yet. Tip him over to his back. Little kind of an assassin was, look, it, right? Kind of assassin action. Maybe not all the way locked around the, the neck, but for sure a similar move. Two more on the exposure there for Monoretto, looking to lock up a lace. And that lace is tight around the ankle. That That's a move we've seen work really well this weekend, is that low ankle lace. Now, the, the Carnage team isn't too happy about the continuation on the lace because of the head going out. But the reason why the continuation was allowed is because the lace was started before he touched his head to the mat. So that's why. It was because of the action that started prior to them, prior to them rolling through on the lace. So that's why there wasn't a stoppage. Absolutely, and Carnage's argument is that while it was a leg lace and a set of laces, it wasn't the single action of that first leg lace. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to change anything. They're not even going to bring the rest. Discuss it. Yeah, no. We're at 6-0 in favor of Monoretto. There's some footwork of Monoretto, and I even said to you, I'm like, he kind of wrestles like a little bit of a jerk, but I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I don't know if I, I like know. it. There's times where I do. There's times where I don't, but it's it's his own brand, and it's his own yeah. swag. I can't fault it, you know, and I know he's in his rhythm. So, you know, like I said, I, I like it. You kind of don't. I mean, it, like, it's one of those things where, you know, we're going to talk positively about it if he wins, but if he loses, we're going to say something negative. Nah, it never would because it's his own brand, right? He, he doesn't change whether he wins or he loses. Oh, I'm not saying that you or I would. I'm saying the general, you yeah. know, w w w when guys have their own swag and, and they are a bit unorthodox, if they're winning, great. But when they lose, oh, that's going to be two and no exposure on it. They will give the takedown. I think the, the hips hit out of bounds before he took them through. Kind of surprised that there was no. Me, me too. And that, as was our points. chairman, by the way, yeah. <laughs> he kind of leaned and, back. And not only that, but you know, Monoretto methodically waited there to lock things up. And then that, once it, he got his two for his takedown, and there's the final takedown to get the 10 0. But once he waited, then that's when he rolled it through, hoping absolutely. he would get the tech there, but didn't get it. Goes out, scores the final takedown and 10-0, and he kind of gives a little smirk over to the, to the coaches, some of the college coaches sitting over here.